Hi, I'm Sarah Mueller, a reporter with Forbes. I'm here at the Iowa State Fair with Catherine from Des Moines. You have somebody locked and loaded in your brain to vote for in 2024. Who is it? I plan to vote for Biden for re-election. And what what made you come to that conclusion? We do have a couple other Democrats who are who are vying for the ticket. Well, I I take Biden's agenda seriously, and I think he needs four more years to continue the work that he's started. Now, you are originally from the East Coast. You now live in Des Moines, but you've lived here for a while now. What do you think the tone is here in Iowa going into 2024? I think that Iowa is, uh, well, has always impressed me as being in a progressive state. Uh, and uh, as a reminder, we were integral to the Underground Railroad. We were the first state to legalize gay marriage. Uh, I'd like to think that the tendency towards being conservative will uh, give way back to our better impulses to care for one another and uh, look out for one another, um, not to pursue our own agendas so rigorously as been exhibited recently in the state courthouse. All right, so obviously we're not first in the nation anymore. It's going to South Carolina. What are some of your thoughts about that? I think that we have really messed up, and I'm so sad about it. I know that the last caucus was a train wreck, and uh, I always participate in the caucus. I think that it's just so foundational to the democratic process that people in a community get together and work it out. So. Uh, I, I know that there's good reasons for it not to be in Iowa, and I appreciate those, but Iowa has lost out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, final question for you is, Joe Biden hasn't come yet to Iowa for the caucus season. We saw two Democratic candidates yesterday, but do you think that's going to deter Iowans from voting for him, given that he hasn't come yet? I think that it's an issue and I hope that he does come. I understand that now that we're not first in the nation, he probably has set his sights elsewhere. But there are probably many people in Iowa who need to hear him and, uh, and really listen to him uh, if they're undecided. So I'm here at the Iowa State Fair with Dexter, who's actually from Illinois. Look, we've got almost about a year out, a little over, until we've got to elect a new president. Who is on your roster? What are you thinking about going into this next election? My main concern would be the economy for everyone. Everyone is hurting with the inflation rate. Um, it's just been a real struggle. Uh, Midwest farmers, you know, we're really concerned. I've seen corn prices drop a lot. So, you know, the economy gas prices, everybody's worried about gas prices, it just puts a real strain on everybody's pocketbook. So, you know, economy is a major concern for me. And what is your advice to presidential candidates who are coming to the Midwest as they're campaigning here, as most of them are outsiders? I think you've got to get down to grassroots on everyone that, you know, we're hurting out here, you know, from the top to the bottom. and. You know, we need to pay attention to the economy and getting people back to work, um, you know, getting these businesses running in small towns and, you know, just boosting up our economy. So I'm here with Jerry from Ankeny. You said you have been a Republican, but you're not quite sure who you're going to vote for yet. What's on the forefront of your mind going into 2024? Well, I'm retired, so obviously I'm, I'm uh, living on... Uh, Social Security, and that's important. Uh, let's see what else. Well, p politically, uh, uh, I worry about the, uh, uh, the the world events and the powers that were like, like China. Uh, I, uh, that's interesting, but uh, I don't know. Just locally, I guess, uh, taxes, cost of living, uh, food is up, everything, gas is up. Uh, those things are a concern. You voted Republican before. Is Donald Trump in consideration for you to caucus for, possibly? No, no, not interested in him. What about DeSantis or any of the other runner-ups? I'm interested in a... Uh, 
a governor from North Dakota. What's his name? Ber Bergen? Doug Bergen. Bergen, yeah. Very interested in that fella. What has you interested in him? The fact that he uh, built a business, the fact that he uh, uh, took uh, North Dakota out of poverty, I think, and he, he uh, built a, uh, he was the governor now, of course, but the, just what he's done in North Dakota, mm -hmm. I'd like to see that happen in the United States. Now, you are an Iowan. There's a lot of outsiders coming in. What would be your suggestion to the candidates to really get their message through to voters? What do you think that they need to do? I'm, obviously, I'm not a politician, so uh, I don't know what, what their uh, interests are going to be. But uh, and, and the interests probably vary from uh, uh, probably with the, uh, the uh, uh, group of people they're, they're uh, addressing. Uh, they're preaching, so I guess I, I it's you know it's it's hard at this level at the individual level to know uh, uh, all of all of the uh, uh, I, the, the, the to, to address all of the problems. Uh, it, it's. Basically, I, I, like I say, I'm am, I am, uh, on Social Security, so I'm interested in that. Uh, I do have other savings, but uh, uh, rely pretty much on Social Security for income. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people are worried about it. We hear yeah. rumors of it going to run out in how many years or whatnot. Yeah. Um, can I ask, what has you turned off to Donald Trump, considering he's polling at number one right now for the, for the Republican primary? A ba the, the big uh, problem I had with him was the uh, the raid on the uh, uh, the Capitol building. That that was completely uncalled for. I I, uh, I don't know. I don't know anyone could uh, uh, justify what what he's doing there or had done. Just the fact that he he tried to influence uh, people. And uh, he did apparently influence enough people to, to uh, cause him to raid the, the Capitol. What are your thoughts on his running mate, who's now running against him, uh, Mike Pence? I don't know anything about him. I haven't. Uh, I did see on the cable uh, the fact that he was here at the fair, and uh, um, and the fact that he he denounced Trump. So that's a plus. So. <laughs> So anyway, uh, just pretty much that's where I am uh, politically uh, with the uh, uh, Republican. I I, uh, I always felt the Republicans are. I had a small business, and I felt that the Republicans uh, were more uh, that the party was more interested in as, as the small business. Uh, small business is uh, very important, I think, in this country, and uh, that, that's, that, that's a, a concern of mine. Speaking of business, we have a couple of people running who don't have any political background. Many of them are billionaires, millionaires. They're running on being businessmen and women. So does that deter you or interest you in a candidate, them having a business background but no political background? I'm more interested in the North Dakota Bergam. The fact that he built a company and not only that, but he, uh, uh, North Dakota is pretty much a, uh, a, a state that needed, I think, a leader like him. And uh, I, I'm impressed with what he's done there. Well, thank you so much for your time, Jerry. I appreciate it. Okay.